Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road, but when I did, I drove straight to Cold Steel Foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman on kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew. You would think the bad guy would just put a gun to her head and blow her fucking brains out, but... What else? Would have made the gun... the gun? The game sure. <laughs> There's no point staying up here. Yeah, so... Oh god, I've forgotten. Well... Less forgotten, the more I blanked out the fucking mines. Yeah, we're in a steel mill. Not only is it full of explosives, it's also full of mercs. And, you know, molten steel. Luckily, we've still got our Beretta. night, snow fell like confetti over the Devil's Parade. The storm was anything but over. I wonder if the Devil, like, when snow falls... I mean, hypothetical, because, you know, Devil, whatever. Does he, like... Would he be like, hey, this is nice, it's a chill feeling, and oh my goodness, that calendar. Let's just move along from there. Okay, sniper rifle's gonna prove useful if it can kill mercs in one shot. Maybe it's the game logic of this gun uses bigger bullet, therefore am more powerful. Right, got our commando. All is good. It's kind of odd that we get 130 rounds total. Like, I think it would be either 120 or 150, but whatever. Makes no real difference until we get to them to those last ten. It's kind of ironic that this place is cold. Oh, we get 140 rounds. Fuck. So just scratch everything I said about 130 rounds. So ammo full, 150 rounds. Great. Now I feel as much of a dumb dumb as I look. Are they hiding inside this container? I guess we're going to the other white light door. Oh, through this way maybe. Yes. Well, good to see that shotgun can still wipe us in one hit. Which makes sense, really. I mean, we're not wearing any armor whatsoever. And fucking What's he screaming? Redcon Delta? Just saying military words doesn't make you a pro boy. I saw that the instant I walked into it. Embarrassing. Fuck! You know what? These guys sound like the uh, Marines from Half Life. They're that level of military. Supernatural gas. 
There's a guy upstairs. Is that me who knocked that steel over? I guess this is where the stairs come out. I'm well, not stairs, it's a fucking plank again. We had that discussion on the ship. Pills? No pills. Looks like there might be pills over there. No, no, shit. Let us through. Let's see what we can do. Uh, do I need to go upstairs or do I need to go along here? It might be the same diff. Hmm. I'm stoked I got that grenade through. Uh, not that it did any good, but... Oh shit! <laughs> hey buddy. How you doing? Alright. We've got the drop on them. That. Oh, this works. <laughs> oh no, it... Oh, it worked! We hit his hand! Damn it, he wised up. Is his buddy still alive? I'm surprised we've only got uh, what twenty shotgun shells. I thought we picked up more earlier. Okay. Must be some pills up here, surely. Locked door. Steel. Disappointment. Ah, pills. Yes. Thank the Lord. That just spawned more bad guys, for fuck's sake. That would be kind of this game style to spawn guys just because we picked up pills. I've got 12 sniper rifle rounds, I think we'll hang on to them until we absolutely have to use it. Because the commando just has that little bit of extra room for error, although we're shooting long range here. This gun's forte. Fuck. Wow. That grenade for it was as bad as one of mine. Uh, not quite as bad as when I threw a grenade at the door before opening it. Well, without even opening it. I think that one still takes the prize, but goddamn. Uh, control panel. There's a control panel somewhere, and I thought it was up on the steps. Uh, okay. Pro Parker here. Shit. Fuck me. Well, I guess more bad guys spawn there. This is when it'd be useful to have troop knights. Pretty sure this is not what I'm supposed to do. But to help. It's what we are doing. Oh, shit case. Sorry, buddy. Kinda walked into you there. Although if you fail to kill me at that rate, I guess blame's 50-50. What is over here? Is it loot? Is it supplies? Is it a grenade in the face? No, not a grenade. I thought I remember. Like, I had a memory of a grenade going off around the corner, but maybe I'm thinking of some. Well, evidently I'm thinking of somewhere else. Although he did just grow. <laughs> he dropped a grenade. Yeah. Shot it too and killed none. Okay, it's definitely feeling nice that they're dropping painkillers. Can you believe it? A 
I bet they sleep with their rifles. I bet they've given them names. I guess. So, you don't have a name for your gun? <laughs> Hello? Hell no. You do? <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. Hey, let's hear it. Well, I call it Dick Justice. <laughs> I rest my case. Brilliant. Rifles. I bet they've given Get the drop on them with a grenade. Yes. Point, right? Rifles. I bet they've given them names. I guess. Yeah. Now moving to the blocking position. That was a little pointless trying to fucking shoot dodge him. Rifles. I bet they've given them names. Let's just do it the boring way. It's true, anytime you try and do something fancy. Perimeter breached. The facility has been compromised. Repeat. The deep six has been compromised. Initiate Operation Dead Eyes. The walkie-talkie military lingo could mean only one thing. They were getting ready to destroy the evidence and vanish into the night. I was so close. The hidden truths were just around the corner. The walkie-talkie military lingo. Just had to fix the mic there. Uh, no pain pills. But ammo. Ammo's good. No Ingrams. I don't think we find them again in the game. Could be wrong. Report. What exactly? Shit. Okay. Report that you're gonna scare the pants off a strange YouTuber. Who's just trying to make a... well... Let's be honest, not a living. Let's also be honest, not even a pittance, but... You know what? We're having fun. It's the main thing. I'm learning life skills. It's like an internship. Except without the accreditation. Accreditation. Hold on the, table. the mercenaries were running a tight operation, paperwork and all. Merchandise missing again. A chemist had tried to smuggle it out for his own private party. Locked him up and sell B7 and D6's old test facility to wait for proper processing. I was close enough to hear the secrets, just beyond the next doorway. People told a grim tale. I meant to go for pills, but sure, a drink of water will do. I mean, frankly, we're not really medicating, we're just... Well, we are medicating. We're not, uh, dealing with any of these gunshots. We're just, you know, popping pills until we don't give a shit anymore. Right. Is that like a bomb on the pipe, or is that a laser? I don't know, that's actually a bomb. Okay. Like the one I'm looking at right now, it looks like it's a laser ending on the pipe rather than the other way around. Highly interactive environments. Oh god, I hear this bit. There's definitely at least one dude here who spawns behind us. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck was that? Run, Max, run! Run like there's a bee in your pants. Hey, grenade. It's always good when you get like a net zero use grenade policy. I don't know what I'm talking about. But it's nice to pick up grenades. Shit. Especially when you need them. Pew 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 oh, burny burny hot hot not nice right, let's try again hey an ingram I was just talking about them right uh hmm. that's a nice load of stuff Hear you. Fuck you. 
Well, <laughs> there was no one there. Oh, shit. Run away. Run away. May have run away a bit too far, but god damn it. You can never run too far away from a giant room full of explosives in the act of exploding. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, we're all the way back down here. No, we're not. It's different down here. I think we might be safe. Yeah, dumb dumb. I say that, we just fell down through the floor and almost died, so. Who's the real dumb dumb? Uh, can we even get up here? I don't think so. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Well, that's actually kind of high when you look at it. Oh. <laughs> There's no individual switch, it's just you open the gate and it automatically saves you. Holy shit, that guy died in one shot. Nice. Right, let's uh, let's hope for pills in this container. Otherwise we're in a bit of bother. I'm kind of bummed I didn't go... Actually, no, you can't get to that office, can you? Maybe there's a door I missed, but... Never mind. No pills, but an M79, okay. I'm not sure if that'll be especially useful, but Jesus Christ! As long as we do better than that guy, I'll be happy. I'm very aware that one shot's gonna kill me right now. Oh shit. Oh, I thought that grenade had us. Oh. oh, that was definitely some pucker moons. Ah, pills! I walked right past you, my beautiful, beautiful ladies. Right. We're good. We got this. We don't got this. Right, um, pills in here. It's kind of interesting that they've stuffed weapons in these cupboards. You know, I don't think... It seems like, uh... Well, I suppose the, the steel mill is actually operating, so... Maybe this whole thing is uh, an elaborate cover, but... You'd think you'd have steel mill... Uh, steel mill workers, on one hand. And, um... Like, mercenaries in another place, and you wouldn't have guns hanging out for the mill workers just to have a go off when they fancy. Right, let's try this better this time. I don't think I can get a grenade over there. I see a camera, okay. No. I don't think it makes a difference. The monitor showed me the way. Ah, okay, so that's this office. Processing diagrams fill the control room screens, all but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, past rows of ovens in the core of the planet. Okay. Oh, shit. Took so that door's open, so maybe I have to go uh, to that other place where I turned back from. I was saying, now that I've got the commando, this is... I, I, I'm loath to say it feels easier, but... It feels like I'm having less issue killing my enemies, and that being the reason that I die. Again, probably just spoiled by modern games. Because they're casual, dumbed down, and hold your hand and spoon feed you. Everyone knows this. delay it takes for my boost to actually reach the target. I, I don't... I'm just complaining because there's stuff to complain about. 
No, because I'm seriously having a bad time, but... I get it. It's a game. It's supposed to be fun. Did you guys ever get that? You get annoyed at a game. And then someone comes around and says, It's supposed to be fun! It's like, you, you clearly don't get the point. It's frustrating because we care. That's, that's the reason. How many grenades we got? Well, seven grenades for this. We might as well lose. I think we literally have to. Yes. <laughs> Take that. How about you, sir? Uh, nothing in there. I think I might have already looked. I'm going to say it again. One of the pet peeves of mine is bits in games where you have to expend ammo to proceed. And it's... actually no, we could probably use our melee weapon to break through this. Now that I think of it. Yes, we can, so take that back. It, it did look that way, but I was wrong. But yeah, it's very rarely actually an issue, but um, it's the idea that there's parts where you can't... you literally can't proceed in the game because you used up all your ammo. It's just, uh, I don't think that's great level design. But I've rarely ever actually seen it in games. There was a bit in uh, Opposing Force that it was like that, but, um, whatever. Come on. Get in the cart. Oh, okay. <laughs> have to press the lever. One more set of mines. No, maybe not. Get out, Max. Going insane, or was that fucking cart actually empty? I don't know if this does anything good for us. No, it's empty, but just touching it kills us. Fucking hell. Pointless. Never mind, I'm making progress. That's the main thing. Had to say it. I had to say it. This is the game getting revenge for me saying this game is getting easier because I can actually kill enemies. It doesn't feel like I'm getting so overrun in terms of numbers anymore. 
felt like there were a shit ton more mobsters. I, I've said that several times, but into the mobsters felt like there was a lot more of them. Whereas these mercs, it feels like there's just the right amount. Fuck. Okay, well, let's be gone. Are any pills over here? Nope. Couldn't sneak under there, could you, Max? Oh, fuck. But no health, no pills, and fucking horde mode. Horde mode from the wrong direction. Oh, jeez. I feel like that big vein. <laughs> High fidelity bullet marks there, bro. I had taken on the role of the mythic detective, Bogart as Marlowe, or as Sam Spade going after the Maltese Falcon to unravel all the mysteries. following a path of clues to that final revelation, even if it would take me down to the cold, cavernous depths of a grave. You can't do this! My men are still inside! Do you have any idea why this is called Operation Dead Eyes? I think he's dead already. <laughs> Let's do it. I love those guys. Yeah, that's one thing for Max, I'll say. He never breaks character. The eternal choice. Do you put your finger on the quick save button or do you keep on WASD all the time? Good to know that that's not bulletproof glass. I had seen the logo on the floor before. There was an old army bunker under the steel mill. I knew the military plaque on the floor. I had seen a thousand variations of the insignia on crumbling brick walls everywhere in the city. The sword replaced by a syringe. Project Valhalla. V for Valkyr. V for Valhalla. All of a sudden it read like a crackpot conspiracy theory. Kim Trills, man. Have you ever had anyone actually come up to you and try and convince you that it's chemtrails? Oh, this does tend to be weirdos. Shit. Killed none of them. Oh shit, they're gonna kill me though. Oh, I've just noticed these crates, they have the biological hazards uh, emblem. I thought they were explosive. That's you no, know, oh dear. I just broke something glass, and that sounds like a bad idea in this place. I also don't have a sawn off shotgun, which is not surprising, but uh, I'm not sure if we'll ever see one of them again in the game. What are these guys? Go, 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 go. Interesting they're all saying go, go, go. Is that just one guy saying it over and over? Possible. Was that the one guy there? Nope, there's not. Ah, painkillers. Don't know where we got the second lot of painkillers from, but... Well, first lot, because that guy just gave us the second lot. But you know what I mean. Self-destruct. Like everything else in the Valkyrie case, the door code was a mystery to me. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. I legit do not remember how to get that door. I'm sure we'll find out. I also like that the sirens aren't synchronized. Pretty damn funny. The chemist had been using the workstation when he died. 
the half-life of the lab rat had ended online, his password blinking on the screen. 665, the neighbor of the beast. Classic. Does that get us in here? Oh, it does, okay. That's good, I thought, uh, I thought that was being optimistic. <laughs> 